Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're gonna ask the question, does cardio burn fat better than lifting weights? So short answer is yes. Um, long answer is it might not be enough to get you the body that you want though. So the purpose of lifting weights is to keep your muscle around. Muscle is generally what gives us shape. It's what lifts our, our skin. It's what gives you that toned look. It's what, you know, if you're if you're really serious about it, it makes you look super strong, uh, though that's hard to come by. <laughs> um, muscle is generally what gives people the desired look that they're they're kind of looking for. If you're just looking to be real thin, um, I don't know how much I can help you. You pretty much just need to stop eating and stop exercising. Um, and I wouldn't really say that's a healthy way to live your life, so it's not recommended. You do, however, want to keep activity levels up. Okay, so if I am going to um, lift weights even two or three times a week, right, that will help me maintain a level of muscle that gives me a little bit of shape, okay? And then from there, we can start to think about energy balance. We can start to think about how much energy am I taking in? How much am I outputting? Okay. So you can lose weight by just eating less, right? But it doesn't always give you the body that you're looking for. That's where the weight training comes in. So I like to start people with weight training because I think you see a lot uh a lot of progress from that, especially if you keep your rest periods kind of short, it gives you that cardiovascular jolt and it, it kind of like does two things at once, right? Now, uh, to a certain extent, you can't do both things at once. You can't get cardiovascular gains while getting muscle weight training gains. Um, but when you're early on and you're just starting to work out, it's great. What I think most people need to focus on is that diet, that intake. And so if you're trying to lose weight, you need to clean up your diet, simple as that. You need to maybe eat a little bit less and you probably need to eat things that are much lower calorie and higher value of nutrition, right? They have more uh, vitamins and minerals and less in general carbs and fats. Um, you know, the other thing that people need to do is up their protein intake, especially if they've started to weight lift, because that protein's what's going to keep the muscle around and give you that look that you're looking for. Okay. Now, to get back to the question, does cardio burn fat better than lifting weights? Yes, kind of. So when I work out at a level that, you know, allows me to still keep talking while I'm working out, we would consider that aerobic exercise. And when I work out at that level, I don't need to produce energy at the same rate as something like weight training, where if I keep lifting this, you know, 185 pound barbell on my bench press, eventually I'm going to have to stop. You know, I might be able to get almost 20 reps or something like that, but <laughs> eventually you're going to stop and it's not going to take very long. <laughs> Uh, whereas if I, you know, if you go jogging, you can generally do that a lot longer. Or if you go for a brisk walk, you can do that a lot longer. Um, when that rate of energy development is lower, I can use slower um, processes in the body, slower cellular metabolic processes in the body to develop my energy, to make usable energy for my muscles. So when my intensity is lower, but I keep my, my um, uh, duration of exercise pretty still and maybe extend it out, then I can start to mobilize fat stores a little bit more. Okay. And this is especially true as I, you know, as it gets longer and longer and longer out for a, you know, a given workout, given period of exercise. Um, so yes, you do burn a little bit of fat more if you're doing aerobic exercise, really simple aerobic exercise, not high intensity interval training kinds of exercise. <clears throat> the caveat is when I do, you know, I'm doing my high intensity interval exercise and yes, that is not really burning that much fat. 
because I need to produce that energy very, very quickly. But half of high intensity interval training is when you're done. So there's this uh, mechanism called EPOC, exercise post oxygen consumption, something like that. So once I'm done, my body still has to kind of recover. It still has to get everything back to normal so that you feel like a human again. Um, what it's doing there is your heart rate stays elevated. You keep your respiratory rate stays elevated. And sometimes if you worked out really intensely, maybe for a shorter period of time, it takes your body about as long to recover from it as it did to do it. <clears throat> so during that period, I'm much more aerobic. So I still get these spikes in aerobic activity and therefore in that kind of fat burning activity. So it's not necessarily that one type of exercise is better than others. Weight training itself is probably not going to burn that much fat. No, but most of your day is aerobic because most of your day is not pushed at the, the brink of physical exertion. The secret generally is this energy balance thing. Am I intaking a little bit less than I'm expending? So I can either intake less or I can run all day to ex to output a little bit more, um, or I can do some combination of the two of those things. But in general, if I'm gonna lose weight, if I'm gonna burn that fat, I need to look at that energy balance it's not necessarily that I need to do the right type of exercise. The simple answer, the, the logistically more optimal answer is do whatever type of activity makes you happy and don't eat like a slob. <laughs>